Oh, hello there. Good morning. A new week on Tonley. Started yesterday. Um, I was out for a couple of days with a solid cold, not COVID, I tested, but um, something knocked me up for good. So Kira was alone in doing lots of the jobs on the boat and she did a pretty awesome job, I think. And today I'm helping again as well. So we're continuing on the obsolete window job. You remember these two windows here? It used to be here. They were behind the cupboard, so the back side of a cupboard doesn't need a window. Also, the thing was rusty. We cut it out and welded in a new plate, painted it, and now the isolation is in. What remains to be done is to just add a little bit of extra isolation. There is a few steel bits still sticking out and they should be isolated. All right, folks, we're back. Isolating the boat, next part. So, whoop. You already know this wide surface here, that's where the window used to be. And what we did now is isolate the stringers and a bit of the roof surface here. And this stringer still needs to be isolated because all bare steel needs to be isolated. Because this is a seal conducts the heat and if this gets to cool down it gets condensation. Then we get moisture and if we get moisture in steel we get rust. So everything needs to be isolated. But it looks good, it's a bit of a task puzzling all these little pieces together and gluing them in. There's tiny little nooks and crannies everywhere that needs to be filled. But that's the boat. It would be lovely if it would be like an empty shoebox inside. It would be very fast, but uh, yeah, it's not. This is the fun of it. So here we have um, Kira with a bit of isolation. Pieces of isolation here, 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 here. The job is done. We have insulated the second window too so this is the, the master insulator this is the master <laughs> insulator and this is the port side of the boat that's the starboard side of the boat there were of course two windows but this is now insulated as well look at all those edges which are quite a thing but it looks good looks perfect and because this will go behind the cupboard again we left a short message For those that uh, are unlucky enough to have to um, <laughs> open the cupboards again in the future, it might well be us. <laughs> <laughs> so then we'll have something to giggle about. All right, the fun continues. You can tell by stuff laying around. <laughs> and that facial expression. The reason for that is we're tracing hoses. Probably aeration hoses, maybe filling hoses, we'll see. The point is, while we have the backs of the cupboards out, we can access all the innards here of the boat. Amongst these, these hoses, some are ending randomly, some were damaged, and some are just mystery. So what we're doing now is, before we put the back of the cupboards in, we're tracing these. So we're finding out where they go. We find hoses that end like that in randomness. So that brings us to the question, if those are the air hoses, the vents, why do they end in nothing? And where are the ones that are connected to the tanks? So that's what we're doing now. And uh, it will probably cost us a couple of hours before, before we can finish the copper project. But uh, it also leads us to empty out all our cupboards and clean them. So. Fun. We have traced at least those hoses and we can probably close the cupboards, which is nice. Short mental health break with Popitas und Macaronesia Gin, the local gin from the islands. Mm. 
also the tonic that we're using for this. These cans apparently are not super stable. From three of those cans that were in the bilge, one made it out alive and two came up empty. Which means the bilge that we just emptied to, to trace the hoses, the food bilge that we emptied, was also full with tonic that has um, dried and composted and there's some fat from some other mystery sources as well. Maybe the papitas kind of went out with the fat, who knows. No, that, uh, that orange thing down there is my absolute favorite hot sauce. And I was wondering if we still had one and apparently we do, but unfortunately it's lying in what appears to be just a little bit of liquid in the bilge down there, which could be... Tonic water. It could be tonic water from the tonic that exploded in the, in the, in the food bilge there. It could be fresh water from the fresh water tanks when the fresh water pump pumped in there, or it could be grey water from when the grey water tank overflowed. We could have special house make mix of all the three. Ooh. Oh, hot sauce. Contortionist training. On boats, what Kira tries to do here is to climb in. <laughs> With the toothbrush and clean the floor. There's not even space for a camera to fit in. Can't fit in the camera. <laughs> Alright folks, that's it for the day. The bilge has been cleaned. Now it needs to dry so the food can stay on the table overnight. And that's it for us. We're going to get a shower. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Sleep tight.